A reading from Acts. When Peter stood up with the other eleven apostles and in a loud voice began to speak to the crowd, Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, listen to me and let me tell you what this means. Listen to these words, fellow Israelites. Jesus of Nazareth was, was a man whose divine authority was clearly proven to you by all the miracles and wonders which God performed through him. You yourselves know this, for it happened here among you. In accordance with his own plan, God had already decided that Jesus would be handed over to you, and you killed him by letting sinful men crucify him. But God raised him from death, setting him free from its power, because it was impossible that death should hold him prisoner for David said about him I saw the Lord before me at all times he is near me and I will not be troubled and so I am filled with gladness and my words are full of joy and I immortal though I am, and I though mortal as I am will rest assured in hope because you will not abandon me in the world of the dead You will not allow your faithful servant to rot in the grave. You have shown me the paths that lead to life and your presence will fill me with joy. My fellow Israelites, I must speak to you plainly about our famous ancestor, King David. He died and was buried and his grave is here with us to this very day. He was a prophet and he knew that God had promised him God had made a vow that he would make one of David's descendants a king, just as David was. David saw what God was going to do in the future, and he spoke about the resurrection of the Messiah when he said, He was not abandoned in the world of the dead. His body did not rot in the grave. God has raised this very Jesus from death, and we are all witnesses to this fact. This is the word of the Lord.